steam coming off of it. What's up, guys? So my most recent project with this, well, not most recent, but within the past two weeks, I've been reading about motor placement in the water and where it runs most efficiently. And what I found is, is that my 20 inch shaft motor was definitely not at the most optimum place in the water. It was way too deep. Before, the water was about right there while it was moving. So as you can see here, I made myself a little jack plate. It's not a, it's not easily adjustable. You definitely have to take it out and see how it works and then make adjustments once you get back or if you have an engine stand you can bring it with you and put it up on put the boat up on the trailer and then do it but I always just do it when I go home well, all I did was order a four foot section of quarter inch thick angle aluminum from Granger's it was like 40 bucks went to Home Depot and got 3 8 thickness uh, one inch bolts with lock nuts and bolts or lock nuts and nuts and on the back here I used five I used three sixteenths bolts locking nuts big fat washers for this piece of wood on the back and uh, basically cut the sections of aluminum into foot long sections and I'm not I'm not the great at the greatest at measuring and cutting and stuff so what I actually did was I I I drilled bolts in one of them I drilled both the bolt holes through one of one section here and then I used C clamps big C clamps to put them all I used big C clamps to uh, one by one clamp them all together and use the first section that I drilled out as a template for the next one and they all turned out pretty good. And as far as the wood that I used, it's just the same thickness as the transom. It's actually a piece of wood that I had left over from making the new transom. I did the same thing, I just coated it in, um, in like a, a rubber coating type material and uh, I used silicone caulking on all the bolt holes. I had a piece of 22 gauge steel sitting around so I actually used that as kind of a little bit of a, uh, a reinforcement for the transom. Uh, yeah, obviously I need to take it off and paint it. But uh, now on the inside here I just drilled a couple new holes and used 3 16 bolts for those and you got two bolts on every mount you got two bolts on either side here going to the transom two on the first plate and two on here on the second plate at its current position it's uh just a little too high it works good for top speed but i'm gonna put it down one more and that's pretty much where it's gonna stay top speed before I did this when the motor was just on the transom was right around 26 with two other people in the boat and mind you this is a 40 horsepower motor and a 14 pitch excuse me 13 pitch prop a new 13 pitch prop so speed limit like that was 26 and then with the same two people in the boat I was actually able to get all the way up to 34 miles an hour and 34 was pretty much hit or miss I wasn't staying at 34 I was staying at between 30 and 32 but 34 was the top speed so that's about six to eight mile an hour gain which is pretty dang good but yeah all these parts you can get at Home Depot except for the aluminum I got the aluminum pieces at Granger's I actually ordered it online then went and picked it up in the store $40 for a four foot long quarter inch section 
and yeah, it was pretty easy to put together. Uh, some trial and error, a couple trips to MD to get the right bolts and stuff, but it works awesome. Would highly recommend if this is something you feel like you can do. Really the hardest part is, depending on who you are, either measuring or cutting the aluminum because I probably went through four discs on my cutoff wheel cutting through this aluminum. But besides that, I mean it's a good project that pretty much anyone can do if they have a boat and they have an interest in playing around with their setup. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.